Welcome back to possibly the decider here, as we almost lose cool. Jackson now in the t apparently to a a, a a splatoon grenade or something like that. But it's apparently. a okay. We'll figure this out momentarily as we get ready to hop into the game for game number three. Not going to waste any time there, as now our Saints looking to finish the job up against Grand Valley State University White. And now, of course, your mini game for game number three. We're going to stick to the theme of kills, but this time it's going to be between Lavelle and Brandon. Yeah, and here on this control, I'd anticipate to see Brandon excel just like he did in the hard point. And, you know, Priestley as well. I mean, we are back on raid for the control. St. Clair starting on the defensive side. And I, I just really predict them to come out here swinging and go absolutely super strong throughout this one. And, you know, they're starting off so, so well, leading lives by four. And right now, if you are the St. Clair Saints, I mean, that they're just extending that lead to five now. And look at this. You have Brandon on the B site. You have Lavelle on the A site. Everyone holding the positions they need to hold. And Grand Valley State, they cannot get a whole lot of map control whatsoever. Yeah, this is a bit of an awkward spot here. So we see Lavelle find himself a nice double. And basically, with the way that this uh, match has been going in general, it has been basically a game of, le of lemmings. He's just constantly trickling on in. Taking them down nice and quick, and there's not much, it seems, that the Grand Valley squad can do. Take a look, Brandon on the other side. They're just going to line up for them. All right. Double Moab and Prof going to go down. Back and forth one way or another. Where in the world is Sauce? He's literally in their spawn trying to make something happen. Guy's nuts. Yeah, he actually just went on a five killing spree before he fell and making himself seven and two. But if you see the rest of the squad, Priestley and Sauce are just having a field day throughout this series. You see them right now, 8-0 and 8-2, oh, and 16-2 and two, and two combined, absolutely unreal. And this map is going to get ended early. There must have been... Oh no, the time! Yeah, there's the time itself. They did not touch the point at all. And to be honest, if you don't wow. touch the point in control, you don't really have a lot of time in that bank. I think it's like two minutes tops. And that goes by fast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that definitely goes by fast. I mean, if you do hop on a point, it will stop the clock. And if you do capture a point, it will add a minute on. Right. But, you know, you rarely see time run out like that quickly, just so dominantly like that. And that's really good for St. Clair to start off on a 1-0 lead here. Yeah, Sauce and Priestley both rocking eights in this situation. Lavelle, the four. Brandon's still there with the two, but at the same time, they're just constantly shutting down this site over and over again. Now Saints get to attack. Lavelle going to get the opening frag. And everyone else is just going to clean up right afterwards to the point where I can't even switch in time before they go down. Beautiful stuff coming out here from the St. Clair squad. Where's Sauce? Okay, he's just hanging out. If they try to even go down the steps, he's totally toast. We, For the few or rarest times, I'm seeing a double cap in progress. This A is going to go down like it's nobody's wow. business. And then Brandon, he may not be exactly on the kill feed, but he's literally just sitting there on the point capturing it. And he's finally, if Davy Dank makes the attempt to come on out, he's just gonna even, okay, look the opposite direction. Brandon gonna line them up for two. And this, Brandon's basically captured half a B by himself. Yeah, and he's gonna continue to go off and find even more. Brandon, now six and one, finding three kills here on getting this B site to two ticks. And now he's just pushing them. Look at this, they cannot come down those stairs. And it's making everything harder on them. They know Brandon's just sitting there holding it. And now they are forced to chow from all these different angles. Oh. And St. Clair going to take it in a matter of 45 seconds. Like, that was just so, so quick from the guys over at St. Clair. They only need one more round in this control game to close the whole series out. You're going to see Brandon with the best play of the round here. Just absolutely going off, pushing them back into their spawns and finding three. Absolutely great play so far from your St. Clair Saints. Only one more round needed to close this one out. I can only imagine how frustrating this must be on the side of GEVSU as they're just trying to get some sort of momentum going here. But it's just so painful that nothing happens to be working. So many other members sitting there with 10 deaths so far with maybe like one or two kills. Like The fact that Double Moab is leading the charge on the team with three is just going to show how essentially one-sided this match has been so far tonight. Yeah, exactly. And I mean, the also, just looking at the other side of things, and if you're allowing Priestley to be 15-1, and one, 
I mean, he's oh. just going to feed off of that momentum, right? That's a 15-point OKD for him right there. And, and it's you know, he's finally going to fall again. But <laughs> even then, he's just still doing everything needed to do so. And he's he's literally just running around and killing people. And he's just having probably a blast. I mean, I, I guarantee all the St. Clair Saints guys are just laughing and having a good time right now. Where GVSU, I'd be pretty tilted, to be completely honest. Oh, for I mean, sure. You, you hate to see... Look at this, 2-12, and 3-12, and 2-12. Like, the highest amount of kills in your team is 4, and the lowest amount on St. Clair is 5. Oh. And that's just because Lavelle doesn't have any engagements. Yeah, very true. He's going to find two there as they did go over to the A site. They actually did touch the point, but that is about it. And hello, Missile. We're going in for a ride as uh, Priestley dropping a couple streaks here, it looks like. And the Saints, there isn't even necessarily a formation to this defense. It's just chaos incarnate and constant gunfights for days. And it's definitely working in their favor. Grenade not going to get them. It's going to be another one for Brandon. And everybody else on the side of the Saints just going absolutely nuts as well. Sauce right back in home inside of the, uh, the GVSU base. I think that was Priestley almost hitting him again with a, maybe a missile. And just like that, match over, people. 3-0 Saints. Yeah, exactly. I mean, absolutely phenomenal so far for the side of St. Clair. Now 3-0-ing that one. And, you know, Brandon, he will take the kill challenge there 9-8. to So anybody who put your channel points on that, you will reap the benefits. And if you're from St. Clair here, I mean, you just have such good momentum going into the Battle of Windsor now, right? Like, oh, yeah. You 3 you 3 0, you win, you, sorry, 3 0 the series, you 250 to 43, you 6 0, and then you 3 0. Like, it does not get any more dominant than that. I know we, me and Danners were talking pregame, and I said, hey, you know, I wouldn't be surprised to see St. Clair come out here win 250 to 100, 6 2, and then like maybe 3 1. But it was just way more than that. St. Clair just came out absolutely swinging and firing, and they pretty much doubled the predictions that I provided. It was absolutely. Insane, and I, I definitely feel bad for GVSU. Of course, that is the uh, the secondary team out of Grand Valley State University. But again, so is the St. Clair Esports Club out of our college here at St. Clair, and they're absolutely fantastic as well. So I can't even say like club team differ or anything like that. It's just they're having a hard time. But of course, the CCL season. This is only week three. We still have plenty of time to learn. And to be honest, like what I'd never want to see is a team just stop. After having losses like that, it can definitely like feel like hella bad. But I do hope that they like get back onto the swing of things and just keep on trying because like who knows? The nice thing about um the CCL and this other like these other collegiate leagues is players that may have never had the opportunity to play in something competitive finally get their chance. And that very well might be the case here with this uh, GVSU white squad. It may not be, but just saying like Take this as a, a learning experience. It's there's definitely a. It's going to be hard to take a look and see that match and say what went wrong when it looks like everything does. But take your time and break it down piece by piece, and you'll start making slow and steady improvements, and then small achievements from there. I hope they do keep on trying. Yeah, for sure. And I mean, if you're St. Clair now, you're you're happy. I mean, you're five and zero now. You're going to be the top of your division in the CCL. You are going to have a 15 and 2 map record, which is actually phenomenal. And you know, you can't ask for a whole lot better than that. That's like it's like 90 something percent. And I mean, you're just firing on all cylinders right now if you are St. Clair and you are fully prepared, like I was just talking about, getting ready and going into this U Windsor match coming up in the next about 40 minutes or so. Mm -hmm. May experience a little bit of delays, but we will keep you guys updated on that one. So thank you guys all for tuning in so far as we are going to cut to a quick little break here as we go in to get ready for this next U Windsor match. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and we'll catch you on the next match.